What's up guys, back for another video. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. It's going to be more on the video editing side. Um, so let me backtrack from last week's episode when I was editing the video. I noticed when I was trying to export, I ran into a problem. So, and this is in Adobe Premiere Elements, not the pro version. This is with Elements. Um, you know, I was going through my normal steps of editing everything, ready to export, and then I came up with this error that says, error compiling movie, unknown error. And it doesn't give any more of a description than that. Um, but I was trying to figure out what the problem was, figured out the problem, and thought I'd share with you my thought process and how I ended up getting it all trimmed down and reworked to, to be able to export. So there are a couple of number of reasons of why you're getting an error. And um, basically to make this story short, in my case, I was compiling a bunch of videos that were, I was making them into a time lapse. Um, if you saw my last video, I'll put a link in the description, but basically it was this uh, racing car that, wa that I was fixing up and um, to be able to be 3D printed. And I was showing my process of that and you didn't have to watch the entire two hours of me messing around with the model. So I wanted to condense it and make it into a shorter time frame. So that's why I used the uh, clip time stretch. I basically sped up the videos and combined basically six or seven clips of these uh, video recordings into one. And um, it basically led to a massive file size that Premiere Elements wasn't able to handle. So, and I wasn't able to figure that out until going through a couple different steps, but I'll show you my process of how I ended up getting this video to work. So, it is a little frustrating, you know, when you go through all this work of, you know, editing everything and making it ready to export. But basically, what I did was I worked backwards. And this is kind of a good method when you don't know what the problem is that you're trying to, or you don't know what the solution is for the problem that you're trying to solve. Basically, you go from, okay, I know that this video on the front here was good. I didn't do anything crazy with it. That's just me talking on the screen. So, and it wasn't a huge file size. But um, these later videos are me messing around in the software, and they were like 30 minutes long for some of them so I was compressing all of that into smaller videos but what I should have done and what I am going to do now for future videos is to take those videos and compress them first as a separate video um, so basically I you know I went backwards I was like okay I know that this one's good I can enter this later so I deleted that I redid all the audio later, um, and then, so I was like, okay, I know that this is a good video that I need, and then I just looked at, okay, how long is this video? It is 2 minutes and 10 seconds, so then, in a new file, I just re-input this video did the time stretch that is equal to the amount that I needed and then I exported that video and I'll show you the difference here if I still have it the um, that one video there it is 1.27 gigs versus when I exported it you know after compressing where was I After exporting, it came down to 211 megabytes. So these were the smaller file sizes that, you know, all of these were at least a gig and a half or at least a gig. Some of them were up to like, you know, 1.5 gigs. But basically, I was able to compress them down to 30 megabytes, 52, 55, 73. Just trying to condense everything down to a smaller size because it was just too much for Premiere Elements to be able to handle that. Um, and it's not like it was my computer. I've got a good computer. I've got enough memory and RAM. So it was really just a little bug in the program that it was too much 
file size that is trying to compress. And that's not to say that this unknown error is the solution in your case. I mean, I've also, when I was doing my research online, trying to figure out what could have caused this, um, you know, it could be that you're introducing different um, file types. Like these are uh, videos versus images. Like it could be maybe an image that you uploaded that um, didn't read correctly in Premiere Elements. But um, yeah, it's just something to think about when you're putting your videos together. It's working backwards and uh, you could break it up into smaller chunks. Like say if you've got your video is 10 minutes long, maybe you chop it into three minutes and you only export that first three minutes and see if it goes through. Um, so that's just one method that I used was just working backwards and stumbled upon like, oh, I'm, jam I'm trying to like jam down all these videos into a smaller size, but um, you know, it's just too much for that program. So if you found this video helpful, uh, give it a like, give it a subscribe to the channel, and uh, let me know down in the comments if you've experienced anything similar with Premiere, Premiere Elements, or uh, just keep the discussion open. So thanks again for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.